good morning. Um, or it's not morning anymore, it's afternoon. I slept until 10.30 this morning. I say I slept until 10.30, but I didn't actually sleep continuously. Violet was up a lot last night. Henry was up sick last night. What a sin. He is, we're pretty sure he has asthma. Um, but we got him his other puffer last night, like his, a new puffer, because we left his other one at St. John's. Um, and Steve was up with him after I was up until 3.30 with both of them. Violet was fine. She was just not settled. She just couldn't sleep. So I was like with her and trying to get her to go to sleep. And then I was with Henry and then I was back with her and then back and forth. So at 3.30, I tapped him and said, your turn. And so he went in and looked after Henry. Um, and he was thrown up and everything. So, cause the phlegm gets to him anyway. You don't need to know all that, just whatever. Um, anyway, so he's a little bit better today. Um, we didn't have the spacer for his puffer. So Steve went to the drugstore and got another one for that uh, this morning, which helps him a lot. So anyway, he's doing a lot better. Violet's her, you know, self and wants to do more cheerleading practice this morning. I say this morning, but it's 20 after 12. Uh, yeah, so I didn't get my spa night in. But it's supposed to rain later today, so that might be my spa time. Henry's feeling a bit better. He's just watching TV in our room now. Um, Steve's going to mow the lawn in between rain. It rained this morning, and now it's sunny. And it's supposed to rain again later, so in between, he's going to mow the lawn. Funny thing about our lawn, it's not grass. Our lawn is all dandelion. Can you see this? There is very little grass in amongst this. It is 100% dandelion. So if I knew some recipes for dandelion leaves, I'd be all about it. I've had dandelion tea, that was gross, so I don't recommend. But yeah, this has been Obviously, it has been mowed in three, almost four weeks now, because we were away, and then it's been not time to mow uh, in the evenings when Steve gets home from work, so he's doing it now, listening to his audiobook. He has no idea what I'm saying. Oh, it is hot out. <clears throat> Violet and I are heading to Winners. Do I need anything at Winners? No. I have the key. Why are you saying I don't have a key? What's going on, Violet? Yeah. There's still some on the floor. I don't care. Yeah, well, they're lotto tickets. If we win a million dollars, you're going to care. I thought Sunday you put two inside of it. I don't know. Okay, it says 28 degrees on the car. Yeah, feels like that. Feels air conditioning on and radio off did you happen to bring your list of your school supplies well, I, didn't, I never knew I had to you don't have to I just wondered if you did if you did we can go look for some of the things on the list yeah. okay but I remember some stuff you remember okay I might be able to find it on my phone okay Is it, are any of these something that you like You like that one. Because that goes with that other backpack that's over there. Yeah. Testing it. Last year. See all these? Look at this. Pencil case and lunch bag. That's last year's. A different kind of lunch bag. No, that's not, this isn't like last year. It's the same pattern as one from the year before last. I think it is anyway. Oh, that's cool. I don't. This matches. Oh look, this is a mermaid one. I want the mermaid. It's pretty 
Henry. I'm painting this one. Yeah. Maybe went overboard with the snacks. Oh my god, how cute. Okay, so it's 6.30 now. Um, we did our thing at Winners. Violet got her backpack for school, her lunch bag, and her water bottle. I do have to take the water bottle back though, because when I took the lid off, the seal was completely like off and kind of fused together in one place, like it melted and so anyway, it was weird. But I'm gonna take that back and get another one. Um, there was more like that there, so I'm sure it's fine. I bought too many snacks that I didn't need for like five bucks a pop, but you know, they're snacks. Um, but that was about it. And Steve went out to get groceries, just a few, because we're not really sure what the, this week is gonna bring. And the cat's hungry. So now you're updated. I was just loading the dishwasher waiting for Steve to get home so I can unload the dish on so I can put away the groceries and see what he's bringing home for dinner because I really don't feel like cooking. I think I night, <laughs> working on her flips. Three, two, one. Oh you can do better than that. There, almost. Oh, good. Good, that was better. One more. Okay, one more. Three, two, one. Almost. You gotta get it. You almost had it without the landing on your back first. Okay, one. Okay. You're getting there, baby. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Okay, final one. Okay. Three, two, one. There you go. Oh, you got a little diagonal, but you did it. So, Steve came home, put away the groceries, and this is what he found for dinner. He cooked this amazing pork chop on the barbecue. He got this twice baked potato and Brussels sprouts and we cooked it all and now we're going to eat it listening to jazz that Alexa decided that we would like and just put on. We didn't ask for. With so, a glass of wine. Glass of red wine. And some scissors on the table. And scissors and a lighter because why not? That's the twilight. And Bonanza. California break. Okay. Looked like an interesting label. Gotta go for it. What's it like? I'm trying it yet. Okay. You Let's can see. have the first sip. Oh, okay. I'll try it. You let me know how it is. From California? It's like wine reviews on here. It's a little sweeter than I expected it to. Californians have a lot of sweet wines. Kind of... Not, not Bernie. Not Bernie. You're gonna find it thin. Um, but plummy. I like it. Thin plums. Thin plums. Skinny plums. 